Hey there Aries, welcome to Healing Guides Tarot. This will be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. And this is for whatever you have to come across this video. When your guides and angels are guiding you to this, see this video, that's when you're meant to see it. So let's see what's going on for Aries. Well-being. If you've been feeling under the weather right now, you're feeling much better. Things are... Um, fall into place for you um, you should be, be feeling better and the well-being is good and we have passion okay the so passions coming in for you now this could be passion and love it could be passion for what you do in life it could be passion for anything let's see we'll have to see what they have in mind here ten of summer that's nice a ten of cups so we have prairie dog and it's um it's time to express your love and appreciation for family be a relative or a chosen family or close friends congratulations may be in order on a happy fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy balanced children nice And we have your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn. And then we have don't let pride get in your way. Let's see what the bottom of the deck is here. This is the world. Oh, so this completion may be something coming back around. Um, but it's Shetland Sheepdog. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You made a it through the challenges and um, incorpor incorporated the lessons life offers you with great your grace and courage. I'm sorry that it get, it's the sun. It, there's cloudy out here. I'm trying to work by natural light, and all of a sudden the sun went under the clouds. I guess. And it got a little hard to read. Usually I don't need to read too much because I'm just using the cards. But usually not words on it. So let's see here. As you can tell the way this... Look how the light is just focusing on those cards. It's pretty nice. Okay, let's see what's going on for Aries. I'm actually redoing this reading because I had a reading finished. And I was trying to get it published. And I'm producing it. And it my computer crashed so let's see was it meant to be so let's see what is meant to be oh the sun so this is the happiest card in the deck this looks good and we have the page of cups and the lovers so you're gonna be very happy because someone's coming in with love um, offer a love it's also a decision you might have to decide on something here um, and you have it could be apology too and with the um, page of cups that could be Scorpio cancer um, Pisces and the Sun is Leo and the lovers is Gemini but this feels like a very um very upbeat energy you guys I mean I would take this as but these cards just be more of a happiness with someone, a significant other. And you also have the passion card. So there's, and of course, this looks very passionate here. So there's a lot of passion in between you two. Emperor, there you are. Coming out in your reading here. Very good. Next to the sun card, a lot of happiness. And we have a little bit of heartache here. Okay. We'll have to see what that's all about. New beginning. Okay, you know what? With this card and the world card here with Shetland Pony here, there might be someone coming back from the past. And this might be, okay, so you went through this. That's why this here could have been a third party situation that broke you up. But it could have been just something, the heartache of having this you know separation here but it looks like you might be coming back together with this person starting a new beginning and this is um you're being in your power you're in control 
if it's this is meant for being someone else they could have been your boss or someone in charge or someone in um authority i think it's your energy though but take it as it resonates Let's see what else we have here for aries something moving quick here communication things moving real quick though We have the King of Pentacles. Now, this is someone that's very stable, reliable, very good with finances. Could be a lawyer, could be an accountant, um, someone that, a banker, no, someone that knows how to take care of money, deals with money, deals with material wealth. Stable, dependable. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Doesn't have to be. It could just be the energy of that sign, or one of those signs. Just the idea of the Earth energy. And we do have the Page of Swords. Okay, so we have two pages here. So this is, they're both like young energy. Uh, could be younger than you. It also could be just that it's a new beginning, new start to something. This is also communication. And um, would be an air sign that would be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But it could also be someone watching you. Could be like spying on you. Or they could be just trying to figure out, you know, what's going on in your life. Um, it could be not really, you know, creepy spying on you more like trying to get information as to are you involved are you available what do you like what don't you like you know who do you hang out with where do you go um, more like that type of information and here we have destiny they this person might think that you're destined because I, if there's someone from the past they I would think they do think that that you are destined and the wheel of fortune this is divine timing if they are trying to make a move towards you they're probably waiting for the right time with the wheel of fortune showing up here okay let's see what else we have here for you guys what else is going on for Aries Magician, you are manifesting. Some of you also might be healers. I'm feeling that with this card. This feels like you're manifesting something into being and you're using your um, healing energies to manifest this. You're using the symbols, your energy symbols for healing to um, focus on something here. Don't try to, br try to bring it together. Yeah, you need to manifest whatever you want. The magician shows up here. Next to the devil, Capricorn energy. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Or it could be someone that's obsessing over you. That's what it feels like to me. That someone is really fixated on you, obsessing over you. And next to the devil, it could be someone doing black magic. I, you know, take it as it resonates. I feel for a lot of you guys, it's you're able to heal and, and manifesting. But for some, it's not going to be for everyone. Some, this person might be, and it could be a Capricorn, it could be any sign. They're trying to um, use a little black magic to get you to come back. Not going to be for everyone, though. Working on something, trying to put the work in, trying to put attention to the details and to um seven learning stuff i feel very strong learning stuff but this person feels like they're really fixated on something and just trying to make things just right and here we have eight of cups walking away from something to something better you could be leaving a situation you could be leaving a relationship you could be leaving a job you could be just leave be leaving something that just is not right for you. You could be a le leaving a way of life, or um, you could be leaving where you live to move. You know, you're moving here, your place of residence, or you can be leaving home to go to school. It it could be many things that you're leaving. It could be just leaving this the way you had your perspective on things that maybe you're changing it now. Something shifted and is bringing a different perspective into your life. You want even give and take here, I feel, with this card. 
if you were with someone before and they didn't contribute or you were doing all the work, you don't want that. That person wants to come back with apology. They also better come back with a new attitude and new way of doing things where you're both um, giving and receiving, not them, just them receiving. Tower. Okay. So now there's something comes in suddenly a change. That could be what this bring this person back to. May something happens in their life and it brings them back to you. They find out something, some shocking news, something changes, or something happens here. But whenever the tower comes, it's always for, you know, if you're not doing something, the universe steps in and fixes things for you. And sometimes it's a tower, sometimes it's shocking, sometimes things the rug pulls right out from under you. But once it is, things get rectified and things work out. And after that, after that tower moment comes love of fulfillment of emotions here. This is great. So this, so definitely this is showing right there that tower is needed to bring in this Ace of Cups here. This new beginning. This love. Okay, page of wands. Communication. There's going to be communication. Someone's going to uh, contact you to let you know how they feel. Maybe that's what the shocking news is too. It could be that this com person comes out of the blue, out of the past maybe, and just surprises you. Maybe it shows up at your front door at where you work or you just bump into them on the street, which they um, accidentally on purpose planned there. And, and then, you know, you start a conversation. Or you could also be going back to school, starting something new with the Page of Wands. Wands, your sign, Aries, um, Leo, or Sagittarius. Three of Wands. See, now you're waiting for something. You put something in motion. You started something, or something happened. And, or maybe once this tower comes in, you're waiting for the other, um, everything to fall into place. Page of Cups. Yes, yeah, someone's coming in with a love offer. You got the Page of Cups twice. Again, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces does not have to be. This is a person coming in to offer their love and maybe apology. You really um, make their heart go beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I don't know why I said beep. <laughs> but yeah, you make their heart go thumpy, thump, thump. Okay, and then we have the Four of Swords. You're taking a little time out here. Maybe it's like we started out with recovery, right? Is that what's like your healing, your well-being? Yes, yeah, so I feel like you're going through a recovery. And you also, um, this could, for some of you, it could be the person thinking about you. They dream about you at night. They're, you're in their thoughts. I'm getting, I'm uh, drawing attention to the heart here and the heart in here. So yes, very heavy emotions here. You have options, but you're going to pick the option that helps you grow. You're not going to, you know, there's these other bowls here, supposed to be cups. They don't, they're not, there's no promise with them. It's like they're, you, you get a bat, snake, you know, whatever you, the water that's leaking out. But with this one, you're pointing to this one. This one has a ladder. This, this is a chance to grow, to become more. Night of Wands. A lot of um, fire with this person here. This person has come in. They they might be a playboy playgirl. Unless that refers to you. Because you are you know, one of the, the wands here. Fire sign. Could be your energy. It could also be that you're having fun right now. Maybe you don't want to really settle down. I don't, I don't know if I really feel that for most of you. But this is a very um, like in and out type of energy. But it could be when this person approaches, if it is from one past, they want to have a, a exit. Because if you're going to turn them down, they want to be able to get out real quick. So it might be just that type of energy. They might be afraid that you're going to reject them. Wow, look at all these pages. A lot of young energy, a lot 
um, new starts it seems like. Now the Page of Swords, this is here twice and if this is someone that might that's really watching you they might be a more than one person watching you again Aquarius Libra Gemini this also may be I, th I also feel like a lot of you guys are going back to school or um, learning something new researching something Again, all these ideas like there's all this new energy feeling around you and taking a leap of faith because the way this person is walking from cliff to cliff on this sword and not even paying attention. I got one hand on the book and and one hand on the light. They're trusting this this process. Whatever they're going through, they trust it. And they also are getting spiritual communication with those birds there. So there's definitely um, a very trusting energy. So if you're being watched, you don't, you're not even aware of it because you're too involved in what you're doing. And it's bringing you a lot of happiness, the sun card. So we got the sun here twice. So there's definitely a, a lot of light and happiness in this reading. It feels really good. And a bomb, hey, here you are at the emperor. So didn't we have you over here? I think we did, right? Yeah, so you showed up twice. And next, this is weird too, next to each other. So the sun and emperor, sun and emperor. So this is definitely showing you that you're in your power and you're very happy about the way things are going. And um, I would say to end the reading like that is wonderful. This is the happiest card. And we also have you at the very bottom here saying this is signifying that this is your energy. So whatever's going on in your life is going to make you very happy. Things are shifting. You got the wheel of uh, fortune here. So I would say that this is very nice. There's a lot of new energy. So be prepared for this. And there's love coming in. And there it might be someone new, but there's also... A returning love that's trying to come back whether you want it or not that's up to you and I would say with the I mean I don't I don't see it as a past life I see it as someone's this life I don't see a past life card here so it would be someone that you know already I mean this could be a twin flame card here it's a possibility that it is someone from the past but I don't see it as strong as I usually get the six of cups where that was signified to tell me more but we do have the world cards. This is going to come back around. So um, I don't take it as it resonates. Leave what doesn't. And please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.